TPS, let's get into the propane version of grilling and chilling and the do's and don'ts in that. Okay. One of the first do's that you must have concerning propane. Yes. Is that you do have propane. Very good. Very good. Okay. The last thing you want to do is pass some chicken on, walk away from it for about 15 minutes, realizing the propane went out three minutes ago. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or have, be, it'll be on for three minutes and the propane bring it out three minutes after that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's been sitting out, sitting out in the elements, now it's getting hot. Um, yeah. You know, it's... I, 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 I actually had that happen about two, three weeks ago where I was at an event and, and the guy ran out of propane. He went with the quickness. He saw what happened. Choom, choom, choom. And he went, grabbed the new propane and, and put it in there because you got to worry about the foods. You got to worry about not to get any kind of uh, bacteria or anything in there. You want to make sure that everything is cooked evenly, cooked clean. and So so I agree, GPS, 100%. Continue with that. Cortez, uh. Cortez is an inspiration in grilling and chilling yes. charcoal style. I try, man. And you do a not hell as, of a job, bro. You do a not, hell of a not job. Not as good as Marsha, man. Marsha throws down, oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Marsha's good. She's real good. She's okay. Real good. Let's see what we got here. Uh, anyway. Now, Cortez, of course, Don't has a case. side eye when you know him, right? I have an apron. Oh, damn. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I oh, thought wow. it, I thought it was a bulletproof vest for the neighborhood. No, it's actually a, a grown and chilling vest. Yeah. Maybe yeah. okay. shooting where you at, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, like think, right? it's uh, Usher's at the door. Uh, oh my God, it's Usher at the door. Usher, not right now. I'm doing the show. Can you wait? Come back in an hour. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'll come so back I in an hour. Hi, peace out. <laughs> I have my spatula. Damn! Look at that. It, I have my tongs. Check it out, oh, Marsha. Man. GPS is ready for battle with that vest on. He is Man, ready, ready for to battle. grill today, weren't you? Show, <laughs> show, show it again. Show the different instruments there. Yeah, please do. The tong. Okay. It's a job. It's a spatula. It's a <laughs> fork. Damn. Fork. That's a big Damn. ass fork. Spatula. Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Size don't matter. It's how you work it. That's right. It's all on the stroke. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a lot. Um, Size does. <laughs> depends on who you're with. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. And was, it does. It does. Because when you're trying to flip that burger over, flip it, smack it, rub, rub it, it down. down. Oh, no. <laughs> Those are issues you got to think about. Oh, Absolutely. Flip that burger. Grill me, Oh, you baby. got the sauce, the seasoned shakers. Man. Oh, damn. Even the salt and pepper shakers, too? <laughs> Yeah. Holy what? shit. Y'all gotta get hit, man. This and is like last but not culture. least. This Wait, is a crap. Little... This is a crap, like a people. Underground <laughs> culture. Oh. Say, ah. say that again, Marsha. I asked, was this his Father's Day gift from somebody? Uh, no. I got this. From, I got this somewhere. It was a long time ago. Mm. Um, I have a mitt. Yes. Oh, yeah. I didn't add that. I don't have a mitt. Yeah, I might, have might be good with two. We know you got those Terminator arms and you don't feel pain, Cortez. We know that. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning up. <laughs> I don't feel the pain. I'm that. good. Oh. This whole thing will close up. Right. It's got these little snaps on it. Oh, shit. Wow. It'll close up like so. It's got a strap, too. And it's got a strap so that I Damn. can uh, close yeah, it up man. and carry it. It's so put spines to shame, man. That's like a Rambo barbecue. Kit, I know, right? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip it open. Hey, you, I'm here for war. I'm here for war. <laughs> hey, that's very nice. You don't remember where you got that, do you? Ah, uh, man, I don't know if somebody bought this for me. If I bought something and it came with it, I, I forget. You know what? I would think that something like that, and, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, GPS, that might be available at a place like a Cabela's. You think? Um, uh, Cabela's, um, hell, maybe even Walmart. Um, true, that's true. Okay, all right. Well then, uh, th that's very good. But here, here's the essence. Now, now we've seen the the equipment and the tools that you're using. But please give us more of the do's and don'ts when you're dealing with propane. Um, a, a lot of it's going to be like charcoal. You want to make sure you start off with a clean, with a clean um, cooking service. Mm -hmm. So get your wire brush out. Okay. Um, some people clean their grates with onions and apples and her all kinds of stuff. 
Um, but you want your cooking service to be clean. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure you have plenty of propane. Okay. Um, make sure you have aluminum foil is always a good choice. Some people, some people um, use those cast iron grates, and then there's the ceramic stuff people use. Mm. I just throw foil down on top of mine, spray it down, and I keep. I start with my flame about three fifty. Okay. With, you know, and then of course you know throw a few things in the test and see what you got. Um, and if your food's not sticking, just make sure you turn it over constantly. Okay, you want to make mm. sure you turn it over constantly till it gets Absolutely. done. And then um, once you plate it up, serve it out. That's it. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right. And, and do you have an order like Cortez does, as far as hot dogs first, and then burgers, and then chicken last? I mean, do you have a certain order that you put food in? I don't, but I kind of like that idea. I may try that out okay. tomorrow. Ah, okay. Very nice. 